Expectations are high for the Jaguars as the team gets ready for their first mandatory mini camp next week. Yeah, the team's been taking part in the OTAs, the organized team activities over the past couple of weeks. So many storylines this offseason as the team prepares for what we all hope will be a season that puts the Jags in there. The Super Bowl for the first time ever. So, mm -hmm. joining us to talk about some of those stories, news for Jack Sports Analyst and Insider Mark Brunel. There is a lot of fun things to talk about, yep. right? Kent, you're right. So many storylines and expectations, you're exactly correct, are so high. Here are five things that I'm looking at in this upcoming mandatory minicamp. And at the top of the list is the continued development of Blake Bortles. Now, Blake had a much improved 2017 campaign. And I truly believe he could be a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. Blake has enjoyed a good offseason. His accuracy is improved. He's comfortable in the system. And most importantly, he has the confidence to take his team to our first ever Super Bowl. Yeah, I yes. said it. I yes. said it. I said yes. Super Bowl. What is evident this offseason is that Blake has taken on more of a leadership role on this football team. NFL teams rise and fall on the play of their quarterback. We all know that. Last year at this time, we were a little concerned. Going into 2018, I feel very good about our quarterback. That's really good. So yeah. who else do you see emerging as a leader? You know, that, that, uh, there's a lot of leadership on this football team right now. And Mary, every successful team has a core group of leaders. Many times those leaders, unfortunately, they get a little older, they get a little slower, and tough decisions have to be made. The Jags parted ways with Paul Puzlesny and Mercedes Lewis. Yeah. Those are tough guys to replace. They're longtime Jaguars who certainly were a big part of the Jaguars' success last year. Yeah, but now it's time for some younger guys to step up, like Telvin Smith and Blake Bortles, to fill that void. And, of course, there is no shortage of leadership coming from veteran Calais Campbell. Yeah, he made a big difference right away last year. He certainly year. did. Let's talk receivers a little bit here. Allen Robinson's gone, and he was really injured most of last year anyway. I think the question is, who do you think becomes that number one receiver for the Jaguars and for Blake Bortles? Yeah, Kent, that has yet to be turned to be determined. It's still very early, but the good thing is that Blake has a lot of options. Newly signed Dante Moncrief and Marquise Lee are the favorites, of course, but do not discount the young talent of Keelan Cole, D.D. Westbrook, and newly drafted D.J. Chark, who is very good. Keenan McCardle told us this week that this is a team that perhaps doesn't need a number one go-to guy. Blake did a very good job last year of throwing to multiple receivers, and that should continue in this upcoming season. What about first round pick Taven Bryan? Just how good is he? It's hard to say in OTAs. It's hard to say in mini camps. We really won't know until the pads come on in training camp. Hard to tell just how physical a player is in the NFL until he gets into an actual game. The hope is, of course, that he can make an impact in his first season right away. The good thing is the D line is absolutely loaded, and he's surrounded by guys like Malik Jackson. Calais Campbell and Marcel Darius, who will certainly show him the ropes. Lots of very good competition at the defensive line position. Yeah. Well, let's get to a question I think is on everyone's mind if <laughs> yes. you're following the team. Maybe the best player on the team, Jalen Ramsey, he hasn't shown up yet. Will he show up for the mandatory stuff? You're right, Kent. Jalen Ramsey is the best defensive player on this football team, and, and, uh, and that, goes, that goes a long way. You have to understand that minicamp, is mandatory and report, reports are that Jalen will be in attendance. I expect him to be there on Monday. But Jalen missing OTAs honestly is a little troubling to me. Mm. Does he need the work? He does the, need the work. He's very, very good, but he could be even better. And the only way you get better is if you're on the field. Mm. Football is a team <laughs> game. And in my opinion, the entire team should be on the field practicing together, getting better together. So mm. I think we'll see Jalen. Um, but uh, it would sure be nice if he was out there with the entire yeah. team throughout the you offseason. you got to show up. you yeah. got to right? be there. It's a team game, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thank you.